morning, everyone. Welcome to Passion, Purpose, and Possibilities. How's everyone doing on this Friday morning? The 25th of June. <clears throat> now, um, I know some people may not want to hear this, but six months till Christmas. <laughs> Let's see here, I am just pulling it up on my phone here. So I'm going to jump on today. And talk about sorry, I'm just from there. Um, talk about um, the topic is you can't help others if you don't help yourself first. No, I'm one of the two. I'm going to talk about that and like it when you get on a, an airplane. They tell you to, if in case of emergency and oxygen masks fall down, you know, to put yours on first. You know, and the reason they do that is if, if you're passed out, let's say, then you're no good to those around you. You know, and kind of the same principle applies if if you're not doing well financially or physically or whatever mentally, then you're not able to help those around you as good as you otherwise could, if that makes sense. <clears throat> And, you know, it's not to imply help yourself and be greedy, you know, but it's, it's to suggest, you know, to better yourself, to, um, to become better in whatever aspects, you know, better at better financially, better physically fit, better at whatever. You know, um, um, take some time to learn more about practice your craft that way you can better help those because not only do you know a little bit more about it but you've also got um, the experience behind it and <clears throat> excuse me you know like for for me I'm not the, on the the best at uh, creating live content, hence my videos are not great, but I'm learning and I'm doing, therefore I can share my experience with others as I go along, and, um, or if you want to, if you want to help someone You know, I want to help someone um, be a great chef. You've got to know how to be a great chef yourself. So, um, just wanted to get on here, throw, share a few thoughts on that. You know, and sometimes also, it's often overlooked is helping yourself 
means taking a break, relaxing, going on vacation, you know, even as simple as sitting down and drinking a Pepsi. You know, whatever, whatever that break is, you know, something to help you um, reduce stress, rejuvenate, that could be part of helping yourself. And again, not to imply being greedy or all about me, 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 what about me? You know, you, you want some of that to improve yourself, but then you want to turn around and help others as best you can. Um, because if we're if we're no good to others, you know, not that sound um, If we're if we can't help ourselves, then we can't help others. And, um, you know, and that applies with uh, pursuing your passion. If you're, you know, um, you got to pursue things you like. You know, you may not necessarily have to be on the exact same journey as everyone else. And if you're doing something that you're passionate about and happy doing and love doing, then that's going to cause you or give you more creativity, more, more motivation to help others around you. Do what they're good at. Do what they're happy with. Do what they um, are on earth to do. Um... <clears throat> So just wanted to share my thoughts on that real quick and and just um <clears throat> sorry, I'm a blank. Share my experience on what that means to me, you know, and, and where I've been so far and it'll develop more as, as we continue on our journey. You know, if, if I'm if I'm not pursuing my passion and I'm not happy and I'm stuck in a rut and I'm miserable all day long, then I'm not going to be much help or much inspiration or much motivation to people around me. You know, if, if I'm as sick as a dog, same thing, you know. <clears throat> like the other day I wasn't feeling well and yes I could have gone on a stuff but I wouldn't have been as helpful and as successful in whatever you know been as efficient so I ended up going and taking a nap you know, and it helped me feel better, then I can be more efficient at what I needed to do and be better at helping those around me, be more motivational, be more inspirational, be, be me. You know, um, something that also helps me, I, I, I like having something to look forward to. I consider the start of this six months to Christmas. You know, Christmas is an exciting time for me. Family, holiday, all that kind of thing. But that's one thing. Or vacation. You know, I've got a trip planned coming up. And it's something I look forward to. It's something to... A goal, you know, a, a more short-term goal that I can work towards... I want to I want to enjoy and I want to go do this and I want to go do that and stuff. And so it gives me more fuel, more motivation 
to do these other things, you know, because I want to be able to enjoy that, and, you know, it's a, it's a, something that helps me stay rejuvenated, stay motivated, take care of me, time to relax, kind of take a break for a minute, if you will. But it also helps me drive harder so that I can enjoy the vacation more and also earn the vacation more. You know, it's more it's more rewarding for me at that point. So it's kind of a, a two for one, if you will. So what are what are some of the things that you do to to help yourself in a positive manner, not not a greedy manner, but a positive, you know, take care of me so that I can help others. What are some things that you do? Um, or some things that help you to do that. It, it can be, you know, I mentioned the vacation, but it can be something as simple as, like I said before, sitting down and taking a Pepsi. You know, sometimes I'll step away from the computer or the project that I'm working on and I'll go to the gas station and grab a drink. You know, five minute break, break it up, kind of grab something that, that I enjoy. Just kind of um, reset a little bit, if you will. In a way, you know, kind of break it up. Um... So it doesn't have to be something super big or something extravagant. You know, those things are have their place definitely, you know, I'm going on vacation here um in the near future and and then it could be something as simple like I said, just grabbing a drink, grabbing a candy bar. I just spent fifteen minutes playing video games with my family. You know, what are what are some of the things that you do to to take care of you, to help you. Is it reading a good book? Um, watching the movie sometimes? Going for a jog? And is there something that you do to kind of mentally prepare for the, you know, like if you say going for a jog, do you turn on some music? Do you run quietly? Do you stretch out a little bit? Going to get a drink. <clears throat> Excuse me. Going to the gas station to get a drink. I'll, I'll turn on some music and jam out kind of thing. Or I'll grab a candy bar while I'm there or something. Or <clears throat> a bag of peanuts. Whatever. You know, or maybe... Maybe I'll drive around the block just to get out for a minute and have my hand in the breeze kind of out the window, you know, sort of thing, whatever. What are some things that you do and is there like a routine or something that do you go in your room and close the door and read a book? Or do you just sit on the couch in the middle of everyone and read a book? But how do you take care of you so that you can help those around you? Anyways, make it a great day. Hope you have a great Friday. Don't just live for the weekend. Do something today that you'll thank yourself for next week. You know, do something today that You'll be grateful you did on Monday or Tuesday. So the next week is better than it would have been otherwise. And go live your passion and follow those purpose and possibilities. Anyways, make it a great one. We'll see you next time.